I still have to like push through the feelings of like this, of the suicidal thoughts, they're still there every day. I mean, like I just hit a 30 under 30 list and you know, like my life is amazing. Like I'm doing things that I could never dream of and I have all the love and care and family and like I am vulnerable with people and I have people I can talk to about these issues and I still think about it. Like I still have days where I don't wanna live. I still have weeks and months where I really struggle and I don't know how I'm gonna get through it. I still have nights where I'm like, I would do rather do anything than wake up. My name is Jake Danielson. I am the Youth Success Manager at the South Dakota After School Network. I also run a mental health organization called The Weekend Movement, and I am the host of the Destroying Pressure podcast. My thing was, I just thought that I like needed to suck it up. I felt like, you know, like parents say it, and, and then I say it to myself. It was just like, life is great, so like, what do you have to complain about? Like, what do you have to feel sad about? Like, people would beg for the life that you have. I was scared that like my family and friends like wouldn't understand or, or would say the same things that I already was thinking of like you have nothing to complain about like you have a roof over your head you have all these things so why do you why do you think that, that that's even an option for you and, and I thought I would be be shamed and kind of shunned and, and and that like I would be feel even more alone than I already did when I struggle like I don't have control over my thoughts at all and especially like when you like have to work or you know like life just kind of hits you don't really know, like even though you try to plan out your day, you don't really know what the day is gonna bring you. You know, and, and it's just that kind of that one little thing sometimes that sets you over, like all of a sudden you drop your keys or you know what I'm saying? Or like you bought a little donut and you it fell on the ground or something and then like you break, you know, and you like break down and you make a mess. It's just like a soda pop, you know, you shake it up. Eventually it's gonna explode. All, all these things that like make life worth living just didn't, they seemed like a chore to me. And so, and, and like, again, I was doing them all and I was acting like I was enjoying them. So on the outside, it looked like, like I was having the time of my life, but really truly inside, I was, I was just miserable every day. And I didn't understand why I was so miserable, but after, you know, going to behavioral health and, and getting help and realizing that this is much more common than I, than I realized before, I realized that like, this is a common thing. A lot of people struggle with it and, and it's okay to, to reach out and get help and, and seek out services for this kind of stuff. I think vulnerability is the most important thing. And I think too, is just learning how to be open and loving with the people we do love and care about. Um, I think there's a weird stigma behind like just telling people that we love them or care about them, you know, and, but literally telling someone just how you feel can literally change their life. I know like a few days ago, I was having like a rough day and some guy at the gym was just like, that's impressive. And like that, my whole mood just shift because of that. but. I mean, for some people, a nice comment's literally the difference between life and death. I think even to this day, I struggle with that kind of thing. Like, even as I preach, like reaching out, you know, and getting help, I still struggle to reach out. And I still struggle with like, as I develop new friendships and I'm around new people of like, should I be vulnerable with them? Like, are they gonna like see me differently? Even though that like, now doing this for years, I realized like all my closest friendships and things are because I was vulnerable. When you aren't talking to people about these things and, and when you don't have people on your team or on your side, you get lost in your thoughts. Like there's just no way to win, especially when you struggle with a mental health issue. Because even when you think that you're fighting it every day, which most people are, all it takes is like one day to, to it, takes, it takes a minute to just be like, I can't do this anymore. And you could be fighting for months, for years, you know, but if no one knows, and no one's speaking life into you and kind of helping you through these things. All it takes is is a minute or two or five to just be like, I can't do this anymore and to make a wrong decision. If you go to the gym, like you don't just hit a weight goal or a body goal or a health goal and then stop. You still go to the gym every day or like if you start eating healthy, like you don't just be like, oh, I did it. Like I am healthy now. I'm gonna go back to my old ways. And I think that's the important thing that we have to teach in mental health is it's, it's an everyday process. And, and you have to come in and you have to pick the weeds every day and do the work every single day because the, the second you stop is the second it gets bad again. And I think some of us, especially me at first, who, who reached out for mental health resources, like did the work until I felt better and then I stopped and then all of a sudden you're bad again and you're like, how did this happen? For families, I feel like we gotta put together, you know, programs and classes and stuff. But for our youth, I think it's about getting it in schools because most schools don't teach about mental health at all. But a lot of it's community, is if we feel like we have community, we feel less alone. So the biggest thing in these programmings and providing these spaces 
for our youth and young adults is, is it creates community and it creates people to be in spaces with people who also have the same struggles. And, and then that gives us more hope that we aren't alone and that we can get through this stuff together because I think that's the whole point of we can is it's not an I can thing. It's, it's we're better together, we're stronger together. We can get through this if we, if we do it as a team.